Hey y'all, it's Malia Moon and I'm back with another video. So I received a package from this company called Bolden yesterday. I believe that's how you pronounce it. But like I was saying before my battery died, so um, this company Bolden reached out to me and they basically, um, you know, asked if they could send me a free gift. So naturally I'm like, yeah, like I looked up the brand, of course. Um, they're black owned, women owned. And of course I was like, of course, I'm always looking for something to, um, you know, for my skin, to brighten my skin, keep my skin glowing, keep my skin looking good, you know? Um, so, in the package, they sent me four different items. And let me just make sure. So we got a skin fire uh, clarifying cleanser. Then we have a skin brightening toner. We have a dark spot fix cream. All right. <laughs> and then we have a brightening moisturizer. So I'm really, really excited to try all of these. I literally currently on my face, all I use is um, black soap and then I'll put on my Cetaphil um, cleanser, like no perfume, no, you know what I mean? It has no um, artificial coloring or anything in it, no smell. It's just very, and my skin has been looking so good. So when Bolden reached out and wanted to send me this stuff, I was so happy. And then they just sent a cute little card, um, basically saying, you know, welcome to the Bolden family. So cute. So yeah, y'all, I'll definitely let y'all know when I try these products out and then um, I'll show y'all that. But thank you so much to Bolden for sending that over. I appreciate that. So y'all, when I do my makeup, I always start with my base. I'm actually, do I have a clip or something? Cause I'm actually gonna, um, I don't have, I have a bobby pin. I'm gonna just put this back a little bit. that back a teeny bit and yeah so I'm gonna just start with my spicy brown this is the Maybelline fit me and spicy brown the 338 and come on all right so that's the one that I use or whatever I just like to put a little bit on the back of my hand and then of course grab my little flat top brush and I'm looking over here because this is where my mirror is but then I just kind of like press that into my skin all right so once you have your base on you just want to add some dimension I literally this is my first time using a covergirl uh, concealer because I usually use the Milani which is this one here. So I usually use the Milani uh, Conceal Perfect, but I ran out of it in my color. This is um, the co one of the colors that I use for my clients. But I got the CoverGirl because I saw this in Kroger and I was like, ooh, that looks interesting. So I went and got the CoverGirl. So, and I've been liking it. I've used it um, quite a bit and I've really been liking it. So gonna go ahead and just put some of this on of course and then blend that out with like a little flat brush and then once you blend that out just want to go into I like to go on the sides of my nose as well because I'm gonna contour that anyway so yeah and then of course you got to do your forehead and then you just want to go down the bridge of your nose. So yeah, blending is key. That's really the the biggest part of all of this is just making sure it's blended out <laughs> correctly. I just like to set everything while I do the rest of my face. So set my under eye so it doesn't like crease or anything or you know. Set that. Set here. Set the whole thing, okay? 
And for my set, um, I use the Rimmel Stay Matte, or at least that's what I'm using right now. I have hit pans so bad on this, and I need to get a new one. But this is the <laughs> this is the Rimmel um, Stay Matte. So yeah, that's the one I've been using. I need a little bit of lotion. I don't want to put none on though, because what I have up here is kind of greasy, and I I blend with my fingers, so I'm not gonna put no lotion on. Y'all just gonna have to see me ashy until I'm done. Okay. So the only thing I do next is contour and I contour with a shade that's darker than my actual shade so I told y'all for my regular shade I use the um uh, spicy brown and then for my contour shade I use the golden caramel um, in the summertime I use the mocha so the mocha is um darker than and you can tell that you know that's a significantly darker shade so yeah so i'm gonna go in and actually i'm not even gonna put none on the back of my hand that's not even what i usually do i'm trying to show off for the camera put a little bit on the back of a brush because you only need a little bit you really do not need a lot and then i just like to go into the sides of my nose as well because i love a really good contoured nose and then I just like go on the sides of my nose and y'all will see better on this side I just go on the sides of my nose making sure I follow the natural lines of my nose and just go up and down and you get a really subtle contour it's nothing like nothing too crazy you know what I mean but it's just a really subtle contour so that you have that separation in depth on your face so yeah, our base is done. Flawless, flawless base. So let me put the tops back on. Yeah, so there's that. And then of course, I'm gonna use some blush because I just love blush. Blush is everything. But um, yeah, it's just a regular elf blush pack. I'm trying to wipe it off so it's not, not too dirty. But yeah, hit pan on this as well. Um, but it's the four and then you can see on the back it is in the shade light. So it has like the light colors or whatever. So after I do my blush, I do like to go in with just a little bit of a highlighter. And this is just like a loose pigment that I have laying around. It's called Apricot. I got it from TKB Trading. And I just like to add a little highlight to my nose. Real subtle. You see how that just, it just adds. My hands are so ashy. Ah. Yeah, I'll be all right. Um, so it just adds like a little bit to the face. Um, just a little bit more of that dimension or whatever. And then sometimes, it just depends on how I'm feeling. Sometimes I'll go in and just line my lips before I start my brows. Um, it just depends on what pencil I touch first, honestly. And don't line my lips. I literally like, in the winter time, it gets cracked, like my lips crack sometimes. Even though I wear hella, um, what's the name, uh, Carmex, and my lips still be cracking. When I do my eyebrows, I just use a brown LA Colors pencil, and this is like right from the Dollar Tree. Nothing fancy at all. Um, like I said, right from the Dollar Tree. And uh, I grab my spoolie, and then I also grab a angle brush. And I can link uh, my brush set that I use. It's from Amazon. I can link it below if y'all are interested. Actually, it's on my Amazon store. So yeah, my Amazon store is linked in my banner. So if you look um, at my banner, you'll you'll see the link to my Amazon store. It'll say like Malia Moon store or some, something like that. And just click on that and then you go right to my Amazon store and the brush set will be under Makeup Essentials. So for my brows, after I brush them out, I just like to go in and trace give them a good trace um just like my natural shape i don't like overdo it or nothing like that so now you see how it just got and then i just brush that out make it look as natural as possible i don't put a lot of product at the front of my brows because um damn <laughs> i need to use the actual mirror um i don't put a lot of product at the front of my brows because that's not how a natural brow is. Like I don't want the front of my brows boxed off <laughs> or nothing like, we ain't, mm -mm, it's 2020, come on now. 
We ain't doing that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I ain't it, no. And this is without me brushing it. So when I brush it, you can see how all those harsh lines uh, go away. You know, so like all the harsh lines kind of went away. So this is just them without the sculpt. Like there's no nothing, no sculpt, no nothing. All right, so after that, like I'm really like anal about my brows. So <laughs> it's gonna take me a little while to get them like the perfect shape because like if you get them a per the perfect shape without the concealer, then girl, when you put the concealer, chef's kiss, okay? So I'm gonna try to come this way a little more just so y'all can see a little closer. Cause I am gonna be looking in this mirror, but I want y'all to be able to see how precise I am with my brow line. Cause you gotta be, you gotta make sure. So I use the lighter concealer on the bottom as y'all can see, but on the top, I use my foundation color cause we don't like halo brows over here. I just go back in with the spicy brown that we used initially for my face. That's the same color I'm gonna use for the top of my, that's, that's the same color I'm gonna use for the top of my brow. That's, that's what the brow is supposed to look like, y'all. Perfect. Okay. And then, let me get a little bit more for the other side. For the other side. And then just, uh, Lord, not my mouth open. All right, so I'm gonna use this Bad Gal Bang that I got um, with some Sephora purchase that I made and I wanted to try the Bad Girl Bang because I usually use uh, L'Oreal Telescopic, but every now and then, and this is just like a little travel size that they sent me for my beauty rewards. Uh, but yeah, every now and then, of course, I like, you can't even see it because of the, the glare. But anyway, um, every now and then I like to try a new mascara and this one isn't bad. This one's not bad at all. Um, it goes on nicely. It doesn't irritate my eyes. I accidentally slept in it the other night and um, I was fine. Cause like sometimes, you know, like you sleep in your mascara and you wake up and your eyes be like, somebody put sand in your eyes. I bit the f out of my lip. Oh my God, y'all. And it looks so so bad but it's just like a little scab now it'll go away but so there's that y'all so that's pretty much my face I really don't do much else maybe I'll put a mole sometimes like maybe if I feel like it but other than that I really don't do much else but put my lashes on and then I put on um some uh gloss like and I don't even know where my glasses at the one that I've been wearing. Here we go. So this is the NYX Butter Gloss and Fortune Cookie. And this is my favorite. It's just a light butter gloss and yeah. So it's in Fortune Cookie. But yeah, y'all, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the lashes that I've been wearing lately and it's crazy because I am not a small lash girl but lately girl my lashes have been so tiny I'm a 25 millimeter plus girl like I always like if you go on my Instagram you'll see like my lashes be long as hell but these are the lashes that I've been wearing lately I think I got these from Shein I think but I just love them because they are um, cat eye. Like when you put them on, it's cat eye. And I'll insert a little video picture of me with them on or whatever. Um, but yeah, I just love these because they don't do too much. You know what I mean? They're just like real subtle and chill. All right, y'all. So I got my lash glue. So I'm about to just put my lashes on right quick. Right quick, why not? Oh, 
And it's crazy, I never thought I'd see the day where I was wearing little teeny baby lashes like this. Never thought I'd see it. I just knew I was gonna, I was gonna be a 25 millimeter girl forever, ever. Forever, ever, forever, ever. These are so cute. And I like these because they don't do too much, but they do just enough. Like, they do exactly what they need to without over, you know what I mean? Like, so, yep, there's that. I have that one on already. I'm gonna put the other one on. Yeah, makeup is all about blending, y'all. Nine times out of 10, if some shit, if it's not looking cohesive, you probably just need to blend it. That's it. Dang, I popped that on quick. But yeah, y'all, so that's pretty much all. That's what I do. That is my everyday, well, I don't wear makeup every day because I work from home, so honestly, I do. Unless I'm getting in front of here doing some stuff for social media or something. Let me look in here. I always look in the viewfinder. But yeah, y'all, that is it. That's pretty much everything that I do. Um, as far as my makeup goes, it's really simple. Um, really quick, really easy. All the products that I use are drugstore products for the most part. Um, my other powder that I use when I'm not using my uh, Rimmel Stay Matte is my Laura Mercier. I, I love that translucent powder. That's my favorite. But that's really like the only other high-end... And I mean, this bad girl bang, but I got this for free in my Sephora gifts. So yeah, everything that I use is pretty affordable as far as makeup goes. So it doesn't really cost a lot at all. Um, but yeah, my guilty pleasure is that Laura Mercier translucent powder. It comes in like the little thing. I just threw my last container away actually. So I don't even have it to show y'all, but I'll just like insert a picture or whatever. But yeah, y'all, like I said, if y'all want to know what brushes I use, go to my Amazon link. Um, it is going to be in my banner. So y'all know my banner on top that says like lifestyle, beauty, uh, fashion, or whatever it says, vlogs. Um, <laughs> that's where you'll find like down in the little right hand corner, you'll see Malia Moon store. That's my Amazon store. So click that link and then you'll find like really everything. Like you'll find my lighting, you'll find like kitchen essentials. You'll find a lot of stuff on here, girl. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. I just wanted to come up here and talk to y'all because really, like, I need to do better. I need to do better. Like, last year at this time, it's crazy. I'm about to start rambling. It's okay. Um, so yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's all, y'all. Um, thank you all so much for watching. I need to do, like, a little thumbnail. Somebody thumbnail. But yeah, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I'll be back with some more uh, videos or whatever. Look out for my Z little video that I'm about to record right now. Bye, y'all. <laughs>